While we were in Jackson Hole, we stopped by a variety of galleries in downtown Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And there's a whole bunch of galleries. But the very first one we stopped in was called Gallery Wild. And wow, the work of all the artists in this establishment were, it was just phenomenal. It blew me away. So this is the first artist we saw as you walk in the door. Her name is Patricia A. Griffin. And she's a painter. And the first piece of work that we saw of hers that just blew me away was this one. It's titled 1868. It's oil paint on linen, 72 inches by 144 inches. She wants a sizable sum for it. It's three panels. But if I had 50 grand in my back pocket, I would have bought this in a heartbeat and put it over my couch. This is an amazing piece of work just an amazing piece of work and I don't know how long it took her to paint this this work is just amazing her this is the very first painting we saw as we walked in this place gallery wild and just the attention to detail it's it's duochrome well it's basically it's kind of a monochrome composition just basically it's a blue a blue and, and uh uh, tints of blue throughout the whole color scheme and it creates a very beautiful bold composition just a beautiful bold composition of these bison and it looks like they are grazing in the water and in and um, on the countryside and a mountainside somewhere but just to use I mean just one color just bare variations of blue throughout the entire composition of these hundreds and hundreds of bison grazing out in Wyoming or in the plains somewhere. This is the very first piece of work we saw now. I think it's an amazing piece. It's just your eye goes all over the place. And one thing that a good painting will do is it will lead you to different places. Like I come in on this painting over here. My swings around and ends up here at this bison looking at you. And it's, it's well composed because these bison are looking in, which leads your eye over here. And it's, it's dark over here, and it's lighter. These are lighter, a little bit lighter over here. And it just draws your eye over here to this guy. And, and just even the way she's lightly hinted at the mountains and the snow and the distance, just an amazing, beautiful, uh, beautiful piece of work. But this lady has some beautiful compositions um, that I was very taken with. I don't have the kind of money that, you know, that she wants, but I think she deserves every penny of it. And I guess I consider myself somewhat of a art snob because there's some stuff I look at and I'm like, okay, why is this even on the wall? Okay. And I, you know, I have an education, even though I don't have the degree, I have an education in art and I know what looks good. At least I know what I think looks good. I can't tell you what to think, but I can tell you that the compositions, the paintings and the photography and the sculptures in this place were just top-notch. Top-notch, great stuff. Um, this is their website. If you get a chance to check out their website, check out some of this work. Um, the owner, uh, the owners are Carrie Wild and Jason Williams. Jason is a photographer, Carrie is a painter, and Carrie's work I was just blown away with the color, the, the color schemes that she, she chose for her work, with the composition, just bright, vibrant, well thought out, well planned out, um, like, like this one. It's, it's a, a great use of depth and rhythm. You know, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. I mean, it's just a nice, and it pulls you in, it drags you up. I mean, the local artists in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, these are top, top notch photographers, painters, and sculptors. Just top of the line. Now, this is some of Carrie's work. Um, Jason's photography. I was very taken by Jason's photography. This is this is a beautiful composition where he isolated the blue of this bluebird. 
and made the, the background black and white, but this is also an excellent use of rule of thirds or the golden ratio. It's, it, this is more of the rule of thirds. Just beautiful. And the beautiful composition about this is that this bird, you're immediately drawn to it, but, but the background is broken up into thirds as well. I mean, you've got one, you've got one two, three. It's just a nice rhythm. He, he's got a phenomenal eye. And, and the angle of the trees draws you to the bird too. I mean, how do you, how in the world do you take an idea like a bear who's broken into what looks like a ramshackle old shack that's torn apart, or maybe the bear is torn apart, and turn that into a logical, interesting painting to look at? I, I couldn't do it, but, but just the way this guy, um, I think this is a guy, who is this painter? This is um, Larry Moore. Just gorgeous work. Just gorgeous work. It's a cubist style, impressionistic, with great color patterns, red, blue, and yellow. Um, a basic color scheme. Um, it looks like he likes to use a lot of chaos, a lot of, um, or, or, or not organic shapes, but geometric shapes. Just, if you get to go to Wyoming, check out the sculptures. I mean, look at this. This sculpture, I mean, how many times you look at a sculpture and go, wow. I think that this guy, this is Jeremy Bradshaw. He's a fine art sculptor. He did a sculpture of a rabbit in mid-run. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. But you see that, like, wow, look at, look at the action that he captured in this. I don't know what this is. This is bronze. I'm not a sculptor. But I can only imagine how hard it is to capture the expression of a fox. I think, is that a, ska, a fox? Canis napis interruptus. I'm not sure what that means. If that's the biological name of that animal, I have no idea whatsoever. So anyway, if you get to go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, you've got to stop by, at the very least, Gallery Wild. Owned and operated by Carrie Wild and Jason Williams. Just amazing work. Uh, absolutely amazing work and it's, it's mostly paintings and sculptures of wildlife because there's lots of wildlife out there there's just you could swing a cat and hit a bison more so than you could here in ohio there's no bison here in ohio but i just wanted to show everybody what's out there this is uh, some amazing stuff um, well thought out interesting original compositions i mean look at this i don't know i'm just very drawn to this bison no, i'm sorry not a bison i think that's an elk just this is your traditional rule of thirds composition with the bottom third it has the animal in it the top two thirds is nicely composed it's broken up well going from dark gradually leading down the light leading your eye down here but it also gives you the impression of a starry cold starry night in in the west just amazing amazing work great use of colors i don't know i'm not one to really gawk and and fawn over other people's work i'm not i'm usually a, a skeptic or a critic a big critic saying this sucks or this is terrible I, you know some of this work is just very very breathtaking very breathtaking like this guy's work dwight vassal vassal or vassal i think it's probably vassal look at this i mean this bear he's you know in in order to catch a picture of a bear I think that's a black bear in the wilderness. You've got to go out, and it looks like this was taken at wintertime. You've got to put on some really warm clothing. You've got to have a really good lens because you can't get near these bears. So he's probably got a really long lens, a very expensive long lens, and he had to sit in the woods probably forever to find a bear and then to get him to look over at him. You know. But the nice thing, the thing I like the most about this photograph is the detail of the photograph. I don't know if it was caught in post-processing or is this because of the lens, but all the hairs around the bear's face and the look on the bear's eyes. It's it's a bullseye shot to a degree. It's it's um, But it's, it's powerful that way because the bear's looking right at you. You're just drawn in to the textures and that look. Can you imagine if you were that close to a bear that you could actually look into his eyes? It'd be kind of scary composition here again broken up into thirds 
he's got a, a great post-processing technique here where he's he's highlighted the tans and the browns in these I think they're deer and the green in the brush sticking out of the snow this is another excellent use of thirds uh, another one of a bison. This is a bison. These animals are amazing to look at. They're massive. The bison and the moose and the elk out there are just massive. Look at the textures in this. Look at the the quality of the post processing of uh, the grays, the midtones, the darks to emphasize the bison's eyes, head, and hair. You know, if if you have some time to go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, check out Gallery Wild and all the other galleries. The people that worked. In Gallery Wild, the owners were just really wonderful. Wonderful people. We met Carrie and her husband, Jason. They are the owners. And she was very friendly. Her husband was extremely friendly. They even um, guided us to a guide around town that took me to take some of my own photographs. So uh, Carrie and Jason, the owners of this gallery, are just amazing people. Very friendly. So go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Check out the galleries. Um, check out check out the landscape and the and the wildlife out there is just amazing